What's up guys, it's me, Fallout, and oh my god, yes, got time to talk about Eurogamer happened, being gone, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, ow, that was my arm, ow, um, wipe that on the desk, um, but yeah, I went on on Saturday, and I got to play, uh, some games, uh, Halo, <laughs> the Master Chief Collection, uh, and I played Forza, and I played a few other games, but Halo is definitely the highlight. I mean, I queued twice for it because it was so good. And the first time, I queued for about an hour and a half. It's ridiculous to play like an eight minute match. And it wasn't even that because I won the game. Um, it was first to 20 because they were noticing that it was going on for a bit. Um, I got 20, I think I went 20 and 6 in my first game, so that was pretty sick. Um, second game, I also won. I got. Uh, uh, 15 kills, I didn't finish the time limit, I mean time limit finished. Uh, I got a key ring for winning and the map was Lockout and it was a uh, 4 player FFA. You may have heard Mo Modest Major say stuff about that, but... Can I first off by saying, it's flipping amazing. It's literally, oh my god, it blew my mind with literally the scale of how good it is. Like, it's, it's just literally amazing, like... I don't, I don't, I cannot explain, you have to play it to be able to know what I think. It literally, you, as soon as you, as soon as you jump into that match, I couldn't stop smiling. I was like, oh my god, this is actually happening. This is so amazing. Full HD looks absolutely spectacular. Um, with the graphics, the, um, the glacier bits on the ceiling, that was brilliant. Oh, can I just say something about the 60 frames though? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Fantastic! The gameplay is so smooth. It is literally that 60 frames. You just like you're looking around, and it feels amazing. It, I felt that as soon as I picked up that controller, I was like, "Damn, this is this is simply, simply fantastic." Also, um, you probably know already noticed because this is like Halo 2. But um, if you if you didn't know, the sniper, um, the sniper is really quick firing, and uh, literally, <laughs> virtually machine gun. <laughs> no. Um, it's really good firing. Um, it, it's it's like you can shoot like twice, and it's like boom boom, like in like four and reach, and three you had to go shoot and then shoot again after the recoil came back and stuff like that. Um, the hit detection feels extremely extremely solid. I didn't find any instances where my shot, shots weren't registering or any like that, anything like that. The grenades were perfectly balanced. Didn't seem too OP. Uh, you got, you get four if you didn't, if you didn't know that. But um, yeah, four grenades. It may seem a little bit excessive, but they want to make it like old Halo, Halo 2. So you can't complain, really, can you? Um, they also kept kill cams, which I noticed. Um, now the kill cams uh, obviously can be taken off, as we see in this gameplay on the screen now, uh, which was the grand final of the. Um, VWS against uh, Excellence in the PAX Prime Showdown. They don't have kill cams on this, so it's obviously uh, ed um, changeable for competitive play. Um, while they were setting it up, I noticed that there was a lot of customizable stuff in custom games. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I don't know if I said it was FFA. Um, I would have preferred there was eight screens, so you could have done a four v four. I would have preferred that, but um, FFA weren't bad. Um, I was a bit annoyed there was only eight screens to be honest because I queued for so long and it was lit I mean it deserved more it deserved deserved a lot more like games had already came like destiny oh my god they had literally like like 12 no like 16 screens worth um that was just that is just goddamn ridiculous um um and can I just say the hype is real oh the hype is real. Queuing up, you were talking to the people next to you like, oh my god, did you play Halo? Did you play Halo? And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And afterwards, just the smiles, the looks on people's faces. Fantastic. Cannot get any better than that. Ask anyone who's played it. They'll tell you that it was enjoyable. I heard Modest Major, Uber Nick play it, and they said it was out of this world as well. So, um... <laughs> and, um... Can I just say? Oh, yeah, um... So, you may notice it's in this gameplay, but the waypoints, you know in Halo 4 you had the waypoints where the weapons are? Um, they've still taken them out, but they've left a tiny, tiny little one where you can only see when it's like right in front of you. So, um, none of that, like you have to know the maps, which is like what I want. And um, 
can I just say, I want this game. I want this game to come out tomorrow. If it came out tomorrow, I'd buy it tomorrow. If it came out, like, in, like, two minutes, I'd buy it. I'd run down to game and, like, pick it up. Um, in, in my honest opinion, I thought it would be a little bit undermining. I thought that, um... It, it might be a bit underplayed it because of the, because of Halo 5's release next year. I thought it it might not sell particularly well, but if there's a game that can sell, it's this one. This is literally amazing. Like, I don't I don't want to get everyone's hopes up and then dwindle because they won't they won't go out the hopes because this game deserves the hype that it's got. Unlike Destiny, which was heavily overhyped, there was no balance whatsoever. I mean, I like the game, but it's just no balance. Um, this balanced and you got the smg seems solid never actually used the ar um i don't know how it compared to the smg and the other one you got was the plasma rifle i think the one with uh, the the automatic rifle the uh, the covenant one uh, elite slayers back you probably already knew that um got to play as elites as well um will it communi bring the community back not all of it um, due to the fact that uh, obviously the whole community cannot come back on a console which is literally getting destroyed by PlayStation in sales. Um, however, loads will come back. I assure you, this will be the start of a new era. Anyone that's got an Xbox will get Halo, uh, Halo Master Chief. Forty pounds or sixty dollars for four four games. Well, and Halo Two Anniversary. So basically, five games and the Halo Five Beta and Halo Nightfall. It will sell. It will sell. Trust me. Um, I mean, also Eurogamer. It, that and Sunset Overdrive were the only games that people at like the must plays. I never actually played Sunset Overdrive, but um, thought I heard it was really good. Um, but yeah, um, I was I was totally wrong about this. I was totally wrong about it being uh, it just be passed over as a transition sort of period for Xbox and Halo. This will be amazing. I would love to see you guys on there. I want to see your feedback. If you went to Eurogamer, tell me what you thought was brilliant. Or perhaps even critiques. Um, something that I'd like to say, actually, is that I only died once from the uh, shards on the ceiling. I don't know. Um, they were quite underused. Perhaps the players didn't know about it. But um, I died right at the end of one of the matches. Um, but yeah, uh, got to use them more often. The jump ups, got to use them. Um, and yeah, that's all from me, guys. Um, check back on my channel on Wednesday. There will be a Super Smash Brothers Wii U Grand Final that happened on Saturday. That that was filmed, and I've got it. It'll be on my channel on Wednesday. I've scheduled it. Um, absolutely amazing. Looked brilliant. Um, anyway, guys, um, don't like to keep you waiting, so I'll um, I'll see you guys all next time. Like, subscribe, Twitter, and Twitch. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.